I always say to people when I talk about an eating disorder, I say it's ugly, like it's an ugly illness, it brings on ugly things and it just brings darkness into your life. It's definitely not nice not wanting to smile anymore because of the damage that's been done to my teeth. Issues in regards to my liver, hair loss, not having a menstrual cycle, <laughs> seizures and fainting. Morning coffee is when the struggle starts. Um, that kind of back and forth in my head, like, am I gonna put milk into it? How much milk am I gonna put into it? Um, like my head's thinking, why could you not have it black? It is around three o'clock right now and I'm about to go for a walk um, with my housemate and we're gonna grab a coffee. It's so funny because like I know exactly the order that I'd want if I went into the coffee shop, but my head will dictate that order to suit the rules of the eating disorder makes it hard to like makes it hard to know what's you and what's not you so it is currently half eight and i'm about to have my first meal i know for a lot of people this is probably where their day ends in terms of food but um mine is just kind of beginning i don't know what's worse like spending the whole day thinking about food and then when i do eat having to deal with this afterwards because of what i put myself through after a meal I would say that structure is so important. Like having something every day to like get you up in the morning and be like, this is why I'm having breakfast and like using your rational mind to be like, okay, I'm having breakfast because I'm doing A, B and C today. Waking up during a pandemic and being like, well, I don't have college to go to today. College is online. Why should I have something to eat? That's kind of where your head goes during a pandemic with an eating disorder. I, I've been working with BodyWise for eight and a half years. I've never seen such a level of, of need for support and services in people's lives. And not only was it immediate last March, but it has completely sustained through the whole crisis. People are unfortunately presenting more unwell to hospital and therefore at greater clinical risk and in a more crisis state. So the hospitalization of 66% increase, is, it's not surprising, sadly. No number on the scale is going to give you the peace of mind that you want. Like you will literally destroy your whole body for the peace of mind you're never going to get from a number on the scale ever. What I'd say to people, if you're not happy with the way you look, like it's an internal job, not an external one. <laughs>